welcome back to my channel. It is almost spring break, or I don't know, maybe it is spring break. Spring break can be at such different times of the year for different people, but nevertheless, it is spring. E. I wanted to go ahead and do another lookbook for y'all. I know that you really enjoyed the last one. Last one I did kind of like voiceover style. This time I'm just going to be talking you through everything and I'm going to be putting together some looks, trying on some things that are perfect for spring break. Flowy, floral, dresses, swimsuits, the whole thing and hopefully you enjoy the looks. Everything that I can link down below, I will link down below. I might also incorporate a couple things that I have thrifted or what have you and I'll go ahead and specify that in the description box as well. Without further ado, Let's try on some spring break looks. Okay, I wanted to start off with a swimsuit because I know most people's spring break plans are going to the beach, going to the pool. I'm going to Laguna Beach with my family on my birthday week, which growing up that week was always spring break every year except for one year. And that one year that my birthday wasn't on spring break, I cried. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually got a few swimsuits from Ruli. I know that y'all know I love Ruli. I found them because my sister told me she loved them and so I got her a ton of things from them for Christmas and then I've just been stocking up ever since. But I love color blocking and pattern blocking for swimsuits. So this is actually obviously a different swimsuit on the top and the bottom, a different print, everything. I purposely bought them to go together because I just like, the gray is kind of mimicked in the gray of this swimsuit and I love the cut of this one because though it is a two piece, it's like very modest, which I really, really like. I like how this comes down lower than most two pieces and then you got a love a high-waisted bottom. I just am so glad that they came back in style because I think that they're so flattering, so cute, and this little tie waist is absolutely adorable. I obviously need to get some sun, so I'm excited to go lay out in the sun in this. But I also wanted to, for each of the swimsuits I try on, create a cover-up outfit to go over them. So I want to find a way to turn this into an outfit so that for your spring break plans, you can be out and about shopping, getting lunch, whatever, and during the day, and then in the evening, hit up the beach and be good to go. So I think over this one, I want to put a dress. I have a couple springy, spring breaky dresses that I'm very excited about. I'm gonna pick one that I think pairs well with this and with this neckline. Since this has like a higher neckline, I'm gonna try on this dress over it. I will show you when it's on, but it's so stinking cute and flowy and beachy. I think it'd be perfect for like a beach picnic-y. Like it has all the good vibes and has a tie waist too. So I'm gonna put this on real quick and then we'll style it. Here's what this dress looks like over the swimsuit. I think it's just so elegant and classic. I love how it's like a little more fitted than a lot of dresses this length, but it still flares enough to feel like comfortable and flowy and pretty and nice. I love anything with a tie waist. It automatically makes it exactly your size. If the dress is a little too big, whatever, it accents your waist and you're like, wow, this dress fits me perfectly. I'm gonna pair some shoes and a bag with this to create the full spring break look. For my shoes, I bought these exactly a year ago, actually on my birthday at Madewell, and they have been some of my favorite summer spring shoes, so easy to slip on and off when you're going to the beach or the pool or wherever. And I'm gonna pair them. Y'all know I love Teddy Blake. I've talked about them in multiple videos. I'm gonna pair them with this bag. The shade of leather is almost spot on, and this is a great size bag to go to the beach and the pool, carry your book, carry your sunscreen. Pause the video because the husband called and asked me if he could pick me up a matcha. Wow, marry your best friend, guys. Okay, got my bag, got my shoes. I'll show you a full body, but I actually love this outfit so freaking much. I really wanna go to the beach now. I might just go sit out by my own pool to work for the rest of the day so that I feel like this can come true a little bit sooner. I'll show you the full body along with Max laying by my feet. Bottom half of the outfit and Maxi Poo being such a good boy, such a good doggo. I really, really love this all together. Okay, do you know what one of my favorite things are? One pieces, they're so retro and cute. Haven't tried this on yet, praying that it fits. I think it's so cute with a low cut back and I want to try to turn this into an outfit by pairing just a skirt with it and almost treating this as a shirt, almost like a bodysuit, but then boom, it's a swimsuit. So I'm gonna try on the swimsuit first, praying that it fits, Lord, please. <laughs> I'm so excited that this fits. I love, love, love the cut, love the color, love the polka dots. I love how it feels just so retro. I know I've said that. I love anything that feels retro. I feel like if this was taken in black and white and then in like a 1950s catalog, you would totally believe it. Besides the fact that I'm wearing an Apple watch. <laughs> I'm excited to have a cute one piece. I haven't had a cute one piece in so long. And I do think that this is gonna be an easy and versatile piece 
to have like kind of a day to swim look because the hard work's basically done for me. This is already a top, this is already a bodysuit, and all I need is a cute skirt. So let's style an outfit around this. Here's my solution. Yes, it's more pattern blocking. Yes, it's more floral. To me, that means spring patterns, floral, fun, bright colors. So I have this really cute, like it's between a knee and a midi length skirt. And I think over this swimsuit would make for a super duper cute outfit. Very playful, springy. Okay, come on. Don't tell me that that isn't the cutest little combination you've ever seen. This turns a swimsuit into like almost a dress combination. I love it so much. I think that the play of prints and colors is something that is so fun and exciting and something that I've been definitely trying to play around with more because I gravitate towards my simple, neutral basics and I'm trying to, you know, branch out there, be a little more fun and flouncy for spring. This is just so stinking cute. Okay, let's plan an outfit around it. Okay, since this is kind of like a fun daytime look, I'm gonna kind of dress it up. I'm picturing going out to lunch and shops with like girlfriends before going to the beach. So I'm gonna add some jewelry. I was already wearing this from Missouri. Actually, almost all of my jewelry is Missouri. I do have a 10% off like affiliate link. I always talk about it because I love them so much. So I'll put that down below for you too. But I'm gonna add these new earrings I recently got from them. I unboxed them in a vlog. So if you're part of the vlog fam, you know how much I love these. Okay, got on my earrings, got on my necklace. Obviously, if I'm out and about for the day, I'm gonna need my sunglasses. These are the only like nice pair of sunglasses I've ever bought myself in my whole life. These are Ray-Bans. I didn't really want to buy them because they're expensive for me and Brooke was like, you need good sunglasses. And I was like, okay, I'll get them. And then I'm gonna put on some like slip on mules with this outfit. I love these. These are from Nisolo. They're just such, such good quality. I actually had a couple friends buy these exact same ones after I was wearing them because they were like, where did you get those? And I was like, let me tell you. So I'm gonna put this all together, take a step back and we will look at the outfit as a whole. Here is the complete outfit from very, very far away. I think it is so stinking cute. I would totally go to lunch. I just can't help but twirl, twirl skirts like this. I would totally go to lunch like this and then go straight to the beach after. And all you gotta do is pop off your shoes and slip off the skirt and you're beach ready. <laughs> you're good to go. I'm really excited about this one. What do you think, Max? He thinks it's nap time. He's not that intrigued. That's okay. He's a boy. I get it. I get it. He's more into dad's baseball stuff than he is mom's outfits. It's fine. I have one more swimsuit that I want to try on and find a cover up for and then I want to do like a spring break date night outfit or like girls night out outfit, whatever. Cause let's be honest, it's not all about the daytime fun. You gotta have like a cute nighttime outfit too, you know? We got another high-waisted bottom coming up. Oh, I love this army green color so much. I think it's so stinking cute. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. Very excited. Okay, can we take a minute for the swimsuit? I keep using the word retro, but okay, if you don't know this about me, my dream role in life is to be Nancy Drew, specifically the 2008, six, what year was that? Whatever, the Emma Roberts Nancy Drew because she was just so unapologetically herself and she loved 50s, 60s inspired things and I love that about her. And so because of that, whenever I see anything with like vintage lines, my first thought is that's so Nancy Drew. I think that the crisscross shape of this top and like the thicker straps, something about that I just, is so timeless and classy. And then as we talked about earlier, the high-waisted swimsuit bottoms, it's so cute. So I wanna play with these more vintage -y style looks and I actually have two thrifted things that I have in mind that would make a really cute vintage cover up for this. I'm gonna find them real quick. Okay, I'm gonna start by slipping on these vintage Levi high-waisted denim shorts. I kid you not, I found these at a thrift store when I was 16. I'm almost 23. That's seven years of loving these shorts. I think that these are, these are quite literally, actually both these things are vintage, so I think it goes with what I'm trying to accomplish very well. So I'm gonna slip these on. Perfect, we got those. And then, if you've watched my closet cleanouts, every single time I do it, I hold up this shirt and I talk about the fact that when I was probably 12 or 13, I had an audition in LA. I lived in Texas at the time. Before my audition, I killed time in a vintage store. I bought this and I can't ever get rid of it because it reminds me of the time that I was like, I want this life one day, going from vintage stores to auditions in LA, and now that's what I do as life. <laughs> so I love it. I think that this is actually supposed to be the front and the buttons are supposed to go in the back because this tag is on the back, but I wear it backwards. And what I do, 
I wear this as a swimsuit cover-up all the time. So I wear it with the buttons in the front and I tie it like this and button it up and there we go. We got a very comfy, cute, vintage swimsuit cover-up. Let's accessorize. Since we're going classic, I'm gonna keep it classic with some just simple gold hoops. Yes, these are also from Missouri. I know. I know. Classic, timeless, love them, wear them all the time. And then this is definitely more of a casual outfit. So in terms of shoes, my mom will kill me if she knows I still have these. I bought these leather sandals at Target in high school. They're not even my size. They're a six and a half and I'm a seven. And I have worn them on multiple trips to Europe and like brought them as my only shoes. I have like worn the heck out of these and somehow they're still holding up. My mom told me once that she thinks I need to replace them, but you know, they still got some life in them yet. So I'm gonna wear these with this outfit because this is definitely like a beach casual outfit. Now, let's get the full body. This is the reveal of this outfit. This is definitely something that I have worn before without this jewelry and this cute swimsuit underneath though, but it is one of my favorite go-to cover-ups just because it is so special and so vintage and I love it a ton. I'm ready to go to the beach, goodbye. No, but actually we have one outfit left. Like I said, I wanna do more of like a date night outfit. I have this adorable, adorable dress, brand new also from Ruli. They send me the cutest things to help me make these videos. So I'm gonna try this on and we will style it up for a date night look. Husband brought me home a blue bottle, which if you know me, that's my love language. Okay, I have on this dress, which I adore. I love it so much. It has like Valentine's meets spring break vibes, but the back, this little like tied detail is just so sweet, I think. So I think that this is the perfect springy date night, girls night out, whatever you're doing outfit. And I want to dress it up in a couple ways. First, with some clogs. I know I showed these in my last lookbook video, but I just love them so much. I feel like they're just such the thing right now. And I also think that pairing something kind of like chunky with something so elegant and girly is a really good balance. So I love the chunky nature of these. I'm gonna put them on real quick. And then I feel like I personally always associate hair down with like nicer and hair up with like outdoorsy whatever. So I like to switch it around to kind of keep things interesting. So if you notice all of my daytime looks, I had my hair down. But for a nighttime look, I think it would be very like romantic and elegant to do almost like a low bun type of thing. And maybe pull out some wispies. Let's see. Kind of like that. And then here's the wild card part of this outfit that I have in my head. So normally you'd pair this with like a black bag or something that's a little more sleek and elegant, but I want to pair a warm color on this warm color. I feel like you see how these flowers have this almost like blushy pink type of color to it. I want to add a blushy pink purse. I know a little bit wild to pair this together, but I love this purse. Kaylee's my best friend actually got this for me from Anthropology. She got it for me as a gift because I was her matron of honor. And let's reveal the full outfit. Here's the full thing together with the fun, chunky clogs. I absolutely love this outfit together. It's a little bit outside of my comfort zone, but in a way that I think expands me. I also just want to take a minute for these sleeves. I love flowy sleeves. I feel like they're the most romantic thing ever. This is our date night, girls night out outfit. I like this one a lot too. I like all these a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all with my absolute whole heart. Let me know if there's a different type of lookbook you want to see because I love making these. I think it's so much fun. So if so, let me know in the comments down below and I will get to that. And in the meantime, I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.